to this video of night prayer, which is being recorded here at St. Mary Old Swinford. The ancient office of night prayer is also called Compli, a name which comes from the Latin word for completion. It is above all a service of quiet and reflection before rest at the end of the day. And we are inviting you to join us in saying this service at nine o'clock each night between now and Pentecost. And this is part of the church's very special season of prayer between Ascension and Pentecost, which is called Thy Kingdom Come. We've decided to record this service in the beautiful Lady Chapel here at St Mary's Old Swinford with its very lovely windows. and its special quality of peace and quiet and its wonderful slightly echoey acoustic the order of service that we'll be using is the one that if you have email John Sutton may have emailed this to you, um, or you can find the order in any prayer book, and there's a traditional form in the Book of Common Prayer. I'll be saying all three of the Psalms which are suggested um, in night prayer, but if you only want to say one of them, then please feel free to do that. Just pause the video and skip to the next section. Night prayer or complaint. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Have a short time of silence for us to reflect on the day which has just passed. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful fault may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath 
Our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 4 Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shadow of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust, for he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings, and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Psalm 134 Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the 22nd chapter of the book of Revelation. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, 
for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Say the Nunc Dimittis, the song of sin. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now a brief time of intercession. Through Christ, whoever lives to intercede for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. We pray for our world at this time of the pandemic. Pray for all people charged with fighting this virus, making decisions in government and in health services. Pray for the safety and courage of all those caring for the sick. Pray for the economic effects of this lockdown. For those who have lost jobs or livelihoods, for those forced to use food banks and other resources. We pray for all those who are sick for those who worry about them or watch by them. And we ask that you bless with your blessings of calm and peace the hearts of those who have lost those they love and are now perhaps struggling with grief.
Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Our collect. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.